Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about a tool that's fairly new. It's called the Learnia. And the Learnia is designed to let you create flipped classroom lessons. Uh, using the Learnia, you can record your voice as you display slides and images. Uh, and it also has a built-in toolbar and it will allow you to write on that screen and model as you record. Uh, I even think this is a good tool for students to use so that they can demonstrate mastery. So if you're interested in using the Learnia, you can go to the website thelearnia.com. And when you get there, you have various sign-in options. I am going to go to sign in with Google because it will sync directly to my Google account. And when you are logged in, it will prompt you right away to begin creating a lesson. So I'm going to hit that Create Lesson button. And the first thing that you have the option to do is select from some various background options. So if you wanted to select a template, these are some built-in um, background templates that uh, could change the appearance of your slides. Or if you already built a PowerPoint, uh, in PowerPoint, you can upload those slides or just simply use this blank option and start. So here's what it looks like when you get to the lesson builder. And I'm going to start by actually importing some slides from a PowerPoint that I've already created. So on the left sidebar here, you'll see this upload option for PowerPoint. And I'll select upload file and choose a pre-existing PowerPoint. And you'll just have to wait a, a few seconds for it to process your slides, and you'll see that they appear here. Uh, if you wanted to add additional content to your presentation, you could go to the bottom where you see the plus sign to add an additional blank slide. And this time, instead of uploading a PowerPoint here, I'm gonna go to images on the side, and I'm gonna select an image that I have saved on my computer to import into my lesson. You also have the option to navigate through some free images, search for images on the web, select from some background colors. Uh, but like I said today, I'd like to go to upload images and upload an image that I have saved in my computer. So I have an image of a coordinate plane that I'll be using for my example. And now I'd like to add one more slide and again, I'm going to import an image, but this time I'd like to use an ELA example with a short passage here. So when you have your content prepared, uh, at this point you can uh, prepare yourself to start recording your lesson. And up at the top here you have three different options. So this first option here will allow you to turn on and off the cursor tracking. So maybe you don't want your cursor to be easily identified and highlighted on the screen. However, I think this is really beneficial for students to see, so you may want to keep this turned on. Uh, on the left here you can also mute the audio. So if you just wanted it to record the visual of you going through these slides, you can mute your microphone. I'm going to keep both of those as is and I am going to start the recording. Once I start the recording, I'm going to utilize the toolbar that's on the left here to model concepts. So starting at slide one, I'll go to start recording. And you have up to 15 minutes for this video lesson. So I can go through, and if I wanted to, I could simply narrate and talk as I um, go through these slides, explain the characteristics of a tundra. Or if I go to the slide with my coordinate plane, I'm going to actually utilize the toolbar on the left. So the first thing I'd like to do is insert some text by selecting this text tool. And up at the top, I am going to enter my text box, and I would like to change the font to something a little smaller and begin typing plot the ordered pair change the size of my text box a little bit here 2 comma negative 3 in the coordinate plane so that is how I would actually utilize the text box. And I can use the move tool over here if I wanted to kind of move that around or even move the image around a little bit. 
Uh, but now that I have entered the text, I'm actually going to use the pen tool, which is really nice. So I have a tablet computer. If you did not have a tablet computer, you would have to use the trackpad. But because I have a tablet, I'm going to use my pen on the screen. And I'm actually going to plot the ordered pair to common negative 3. So at this point, if I was using the pen tool, I'm going to switch to the smallest size pen. And I'd like to highlight to students that this 2 is on the x-axis and negative 3 is on the y-axis. So coming down to the coordinate plane, I would identify where 2 is on this x-axis here. And I'm going to just put a little mark by the 2. And on the y-axis, I'm going to look for negative 3. Go down and mark where there's negative 3. And I'd like to identify the point where the 2 intersect. And I am going to use the pen to draw a dot right there at the point where they intersect. And then I'm going to switch to my text box tool so I can actually enter that ordered pair. 2 comma negative 3. So that would be how you would utilize the text box tool along with the pen tool. Uh, if I switch over to my next slide now, here is an example of a passage. And let's say I was teaching students how to um, identify similes. I could use this passage as my example. And I'm going to switch to the shapes toolbar here on the side. And I'm going to select the square because I would like to put a square, a red square, around the sentence that I feel includes a simile. So here I'm going to put a box around this. And to identify the word that helps me um, identify this as a simile, I'm going to switch to the line tool. And I'm going to put a line under the word like. Okay, so I've gone through my slides. I've modeled and demonstrated everything I need to for my lesson. And now I have the choice at the top here. If you wanted to stop midway through your lesson, take a little breather, you could press the pause button here. Um, otherwise, you can press save when you're finished recording. And it'll take a moment just to generate the preview so you can look it over, see if it looks how you want it to. Your students can do the same if they're using this, um, you know, seeking feedback from you or their peers. And once your preview has generated, it will play your video lesson right away. So I'm going to pause it for now, uh, but I could preview it, see if it looks how I want it to. If it looks good, I can save the lesson down here or save my lesson here at the top. If I don't like it, I can press start over and start from scratch. So I'm going to press save my lesson and I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to publish it. You could also add some tags if you wanted it to be um, something that people can search for. And once it is published, it will be uploaded where you'll have your different save options and sharing options. So here is my video lesson. And on the side here, I have some different options. I could share it. And if you press share, you have various uh, social media sources that you could save to and share that out. Um, you have a like button. You also have an embed link. So we'll go to this embed link here. So if you have a website and you wanted to embed your video right in that website, here is that link that you can use. So in this case, I'm going to press share and I am going to select this email link option. And I'm going to put in my email address, who it's from, and I could send it to my students or just send it to myself. If I wanted to post this elsewhere. So this tutorial has been intended to show you the Learnia. Um, I hope you enjoy and have fun creating your own flipped classroom lessons.